cousin. All right, Alan just Alan just whispered no cussing at me like like he's not going to. All right, let's uh, Alan put the phone over there. I deleted a, a good amount of apps and stuff, so I don't have a. Don't put it down where it normally can. Yeah, just put it down on the. No, that's weird. That's, that, that don't work. That don't work. That's better. Are you okay with the light? I am fine with the light. All right, both video versions are on. Even though we're probably only going to use my phone, I don't know why we even have this one going because on my I have the leaf falling through the chair bit on my phone. <laughs> so I'm gonna. There's no way to. We're so. gonna play. All right. Well, this is the this is episode ten. We've not started recording yet, and uh, we're still. Cooper, why are you still here? I'm eating string cheese. Eat it, not in the cam, not on the camera. Hold on. Eh, eh. Hold on. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. So oh, we're uh, guess we are ready to start. Make that camera look at me a little bit. Hey, we're all in it. Alan, your special camera. No, oh, oh, that camera. There we okay. go. All right, the camera that we're not even going to end up using. I'm using it. What, are you going to put it on your YouTube yep, channel too? Yep, both of y'all. You're going to have... We're going to have... It's going to be the same show. Dueling videos. The same show on my channel and your channel. Yep. Right. Dueling videos. But well, your version's not going to have Lee falling through the chair because that's, that's that is exclusive. Now you done really so now surprised. tune into oh, no. Ethan's channel, that man. Is, that is Ethan's exclusive content. The video, the uh, the audio people weren't going to know about Lee until yet because we haven't started yet. So, I mean, you can go ahead and start it when you're ready. This episode might not be very good. I'm just saying, it's going to be great. Hello everybody, welcome to episode 10 of the Dirty Balls Podcast. I am just as surprised as you are that we've made it this far. Uh, my name is Ethan Benfield, I'm here with Alan and Jennifer, and we've got a very lackluster show planned for you guys today, uh, because we were planning on being at the game right now, but we're not going to be at the game right now. Somebody please um, t tell me why we're not going to be at the game. Mother Nature is a punk. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah. But... Don't y'all hate that? Yeah. When they're when it's raining and you can't go to the game. It's the worst. It's the worst thing ever. And then when they reschedule the game for a Friday. Double header. Double header. Starting at five o'clock. Which I'm probably not going to be able to make it to. Highly inconvenient. Me either. Yeah. So thanks a lot, God. <laughs> wow. <You're up> there. <laughs> Hard. Sorry. On a Sunday. On a Sunday too. I, I'm sorry. I don't want to get struck by lightning when I leave, so I I'm, I apologize. I'd like to make a formal apology to God. Did not mean to call you out like that. I'm sure that we actually need this rain. I'm sure there's probably some kind of drought or something, because there's always a drought. So, Alan, uh, you got you got anything else to start out with? Um, today I is... don't. Oh wait, wait, no, no, no. Before you get to that. <laughs> We got some quarters here. You gonna put them in the bucket? We go. What are, kind of bucket are we putting them in? I have some in front of me. Is this is this for he who shall not be named or that sport that shall not be named? The he. All right. Okay. All who right. is he? We can't say. <gasps> Your turn. That's too far away. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. All right. There it is. We now have. And, uh, I mean, that's about two dollars in there now. Yeah, two dollars exactly. Well, I can count. Woo! So, Alan, please, please say something because I don't know what to talk about today. Well, today is you know April fifteenth is uh, in the major league or in all baseball. It's Jackie Robinson Day. All baseball except for Hickory because we're not going to get. Why is it game. Jackie Robinson Day? Uh, he made his debut with the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. And then 57 years ago today, they wanted to commemorate him and honor him for being the first African American to play baseball. Mm -hmm. And uh, something I didn't know is, I thought that when they retired his number, everybody could, had to stop wearing 42. But if you already had 42 before they retired it, you could keep it going. I saw footage of uh, Mariano Rivera the other night, and I'm like, wait a minute, he's wearing 42 in like 2003. How's that possible? And then I looked it up and I felt stupid. Oh, we've angered God. You hear that? 
A little thunder. bit of thunder going on here. Ah, uh, thunder. All right. So what what else about Jackie Robinson Day? Is that? That's just about it. That's all. Yeah. You just wanted. Every, everybody wears 42 on the back of the jerseys today. I got my hat on. So. From yeah. baseballism. Baseballism. <laughs> Go check them out. Pretty good. Mhm. Mm and they got uh, they got a lot of cool shirts, but and hats. I didn't know they had hats. Yeah, they got and hats. And socks. Got socks. To get the shirts one size too big because they fit tight. Also, you can tell it's an old school hat because it's green on the bottom of the bill, which is a, a discussion that me and Lucas have not let up on since I first brought it up a few uh, last week on the way to Durham. On the way to Durham, yeah. And how did you enjoy your trip to Durham? It was it was great. Right. We we lost the game and it was cold. It was very cold. Very cold. It wasn't as cold as Greensboro, but you know. April baseball is unpleasant. Yeah, it's always cold and rainy and, and baseball. Uh, Major League Baseball is having a real weather problem right now. Games are getting postponed left and right. Uh, but it was great. One thing I really, really, really want to commend uh, Durham for is the food at their park. They had. Some good. Look at us. We like food. <laughs> uh, they had some good stuff at that park. They uh, I had a uh, brat. He had an Italian sausage, which is just a brat but spicy. And we all had some deep fried pretzel sticks. And those with beer cheese. With beer cheese. Which which oh um, it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. And you know me. I don't like beer or cheese, and I love beer cheese. That's that's, uh -huh. that's uh -huh. heavy sarcasm because I love both beer and cheese, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, but get the beer cheese on your brat if you go. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The peppers and onions. All right, don't get a naked brat. That's that's how. Uh, and they also had, well, what did you get? The brat? Brat dipper. It was brat just dippers. a brat chopped up. But it had some mustard to honey dip it mustard. in. She got a like naked Dijon brat. mustard. It was pretty good. I guess she doesn't like peppers and onions. I'm not eating any nasty vegetables, so. That was the best choice for me. You're you're a grown woman. You eat some vegetables. All right. Well, anyway, peppers and onions on a brat. It's delicious. Uh, the game was good. I liked the stadium. Um, I think it's pretty cool how they had. I don't know. Was that actually Susan Sarandon that was narrating at the beginning? Because at at because they were really like they really loved the fact that they had that movie. Which I mean, it's a good movie. So it, that. And what movie is that? Older. I didn't know that uh, that steak thing was real until we got there, I and mean, I just thought that was part of the movie. But that, they actually they actually do have a sign that says if you hit the bull, you win a steak, and and they do really. And and they I think it was actually Susan Serena at the beginning narrating the safety stuff, which is pretty cool. But yeah, good game. And uh, we played Charlotte, and thank God we didn't go to five different Rosses on the way like we did for Greensboro. And it was, it was a fun day. We had, we, ate, we then we went to Red Robin. Yum. Service there was lacking. Service sucked. They, they got a hard job. What's the not, food wasn't as good as normal no, either. Good, the others, the other Red Robin that we went to was better. Yeah, More so. Yeah. Yeah. So I, we don't recommend the Red Robin out there, but whatever. Did you want to tell the people to check out your awesome pictures from Durham? No. No. He took a lot of pictures in Durham. Yours, Ethan. Oh, mine. I yeah. thought you were talking about You were chilling with little, the players and stuff, you know? Yeah, you were hanging out with the players, taking with, pictures uh, with them. With Johnny we Field. We had your photographer over here. Come on, Lucas. You can make an appearance. Photo credits to me. A little most of them. Yep. Okay. Right. Back to Fortnite. Nobody called you a goofer. Out. Okay, well... Yeah, there were some good pictures, and I was shumming it up with the players, as you would say. Johnny Field, which I think is the best name in baseball. That's just, I mean, Johnny Field. That's like, a, it's like if a cartoon character, if there's a baseball player on, like, Family Guy, they, they'd be Johnny Field. It's just the perfect name. It's, it's very cartoony. And I forgot the other guy. He's number 13. And it doesn't matter what his name is. Oh, it does. No. Yeah, Something like that. Christian but. No, it wasn't. Was it Chris? Did you get a picture with Christian Arroyo? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so either. I don't. I'm not that famous. Yeah. But it does matter because he's probably going to be with Tampa Bay very soon because they got a very good system. 
Uh, speaking of good systems, I believe that Texas has recently made some call-ups. How's that for a transition? Yeah, that was nice. Alan, please lead us off with that. Yeah. Um, I forgot what day it was, but uh, Odor got put on the disabled list, so they called up Isaiah Connor Falefa. Say and that again, Isaiah slowly. Isaiah Connor Falefa, and I'm probably mispronouncing his ABC name. ABC Two Bug Monday. Yeah. But um, he was actually catching in Round Rock on Monday, which was... ABC 2 Buck Monday. What was, the, what was the date of Monday? <laughs> you got the calendar, Jennifer. What was Monday? This is May. You don't oh, want to know. Never mind. April, Monday. Okay, well, yeah, he was catching in Round Rock. And um, he drew a walk. The ninth. The ninth. The ninth. He drew a walk in the second inning, and then he got... Uh, surprised and they put a pitch runner in for him he had no idea what was going on he kind of had an idea but um and then he made it to the show on tuesday so he he was here i want to say when joey was or no the year after yeah so 2014 yeah, 2014 2015 something like that so he actually played here in hickory super cool guy got to meet him a couple times and um i've got a nephew whose name's isaiah and then when my brother came to visit, came home, and we took him to a ball game. We got Isaiah to get Isaiah's autograph on a card, so it was pretty neat, and he was excited about that. We got a lot of autographs in Durham. Yeah, we did, yeah. because we got to go on the field and you know get to talk to whoever we wanted to. The highlight of the day, I mean, the game wasn't as great as it could have been. We was it five to nothing? I don't remember the score. Yeah, it was five to two, I think. Thank you, Lucas. Right. We got we got another call up. Or oh one? yeah, uh, April thirteenth, the Condor. The Condor. Goosey. Goosey. Guzman. Guzman. Ronald Guzman got called up to the show. Right. Elvis Andrews got hit with a pitch, oh. so he's out for six to eight weeks. So come to Hickory, Elvis. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. And so they called up Goosey, and um, yesterday on the fourteenth, him and Isaiah. Both got their first major league home run. So that was just super awesome. For the Rangers, who are not doing so hot right now. The entire Ranger system is not doing hot right I now. I believe the Hicker Crawdads are last place in all of minor league all baseball. All of minor league baseball, we are the worst team. One and eight, right? Yep. And I was there the night we won. Just saying. So I'm, I'm a good luck charm. Well, I wore... Guzman's jersey yesterday and he had home run, so I don't know. But um, speaking of on the injury list, uh, Yanio messed up a ligament in his knee and he'll be out for three to four weeks. So that sucks for us because we were planning on going to Texas in May and going out to see him, but well, now we got to figure something else out. Another injury that I have to add uh, it's going to be out for a while is Lee's chair. <laughs> I think he's permanently That's up. permanently disabled. It's gone. Yeah. And yesterday at the tailgate, and if you got the video version on my channel, not the video version on Alan's channel, which probably won't come out because his complicated camera won't work, but if you got the video version on my channel, on my phone here, uh, then you're going to see at the very end of this, I'm going to attach the video of Lee falling through a lawn chair at the tailgate yesterday, which is pretty hilarious because he continued eating. And he's like, oh, I was full through the chair. Might as well keep eating. And he got up, and he had a backup chair, which means he knew it would happen, which I think is pretty funny. But um, before we switch to next topics, I got one more call up. Um, I don't remember what high school he pitched for, but it was around here in Hickory. Around here. On April 9th, Hunter Harvey. Hunter Harvey. Of the Delmarva Shorebirds. Double H. He got called up to the majors. What's his middle name? I'm not sure what his middle name is. Because he could be Triple H like the wrestler. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> but yeah, he pitched for Del Marva back in uh, 2014. So um, he did not play in 2015. He had five five starts with a short season in 2016. Then he had Tommy John surgery. But he has never pitched above high A and was called to the majors. Why? Wow. I have no idea. But he was only there for two days, and they sent him back down to high with uh, the base off. That's probably one of those weird bullpen situations where they just yeah. needed a guy for a day or two. But yeah, like I said, it was super cool. Here, a local kid, 
actually a kid just got caught up to the majors for a couple of days and got a little taste of it and so we'll see what he got. I mean he's he's had so many injuries since he started his career but whenever what is that? Uh it's just a notification on my phone we're still going. Okay. And um you know he's he's good. Hit that. Hit he that actually button. uh started our all star game here in Hickory a couple years ago. So Yeah, we're still rolling, all right. But yeah. So yeah, there's all my call up news for this week. Please get please go longer because I have nothing. Nothing. Oh, well. I mean, we played how many games? We got stuff to talk. Unlike about. Unlike last week when I had a bunch of major league stories to talk about that y'all knew nothing of. Well, there was two brawls in major league this year. Ooh. This yeah. week, but yeah. Fight! 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 Uh, bench clearing brawl. Yeah, bench clear. Is there another kind of brawl? Yeah, those little lightweight ones were just a few of them, Tiff. You need the all-out bench clearing brawl. All right. It was the Rockies. You can't talk about lightweights, Jennifer. Wow. Because you are one. With the drinking. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Who uh, who got into these brawls? I thought it was the Rockies. It was in Colorado. Padres, right? Oh uh, yeah, the Rockies and Padres. The Rockies. The Rockies. And the Yankees and the Red Sox. Wish that Yankee video because it's fun to watch. Uh, Bryson was <laughs> on Facebook the other night, like. These damn Yankees always starting fights. Well, they did too. Okay. Red Sox guy being the, ba the yeah. Yankee batter, so. So what you gonna do? Start a fight. You gotta protect your boys. I, that, that, that didn't sound right. <laughs> well, you do need to protect the boys. You do. Yeah. Yeah. And the men. And the ladies. And the... And the, the small children. Mm-hmm. The children's. You gotta protect them children's. Tell you me got, that. You got anything? Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody wants to talk about Thursday. It was opening night. Lots of exciting stuff. Nobody wants to talk about anything. Oh, yeah. The only game that we've won this year was Thursday night. And uh, it was fun. Uh, we all had a good time. We had, we finally came up with some, with the chance for everybody. We had two or three that we didn't have anybody, that we didn't have one yet for. We got them all figured out now. Except we might change Ratless because it doesn't really rhyme that well. Did we change it already? Mm -hmm. we, we're still going with Get a big hit. Hit, lift. Well, lift. neither does bust em Justin, but we going with it, so. Well, if Mark would let us do the other one, then, you know, we'd be, we'd be going. I mean, that doesn't rhyme either. Yeah, but it's close. It's a slant rhyme. Mm. It's close enough. Give him hell number 12. Mm. Hell 12. Yeah. It's close enough, right? Sure. Yeah. But, but we did have 17 strikeouts that game. Yes. Yeah. We ran out of Ks. Well, we didn't run out. We ran, we out, ran of out of clips. clips. We got 20 Ks per team. So hopefully we can hang them all up. And those 17 Ks, didn't that tie our record? That tied our record set back on May 25th of 09. Oh, wow. In a nine-inning game, nine, or 17 strikeouts. Do you know who pitched? I saw the names, but I don't remember who it was. Because if he's a... You, you probably wouldn't be in Texas now. Might yeah might no I was thinking it would have been the Pirates but the Pirates Texas started in 2009 that was the first year of Texas it was 2009 so yeah um, but we did win finally what was the final score does anybody remember because I I don't I don't either Jennifer do you remember no did you write it down anywhere no okay well look it up real quick I'll stall um, do 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 stalling, stalling. stalling. waiting waiting on you to calm down score. six to two six to two we won six to two the 17 strikeouts recorded by the hickory called as tied a team record for a nine inning game set on may 25th 2009 by jake brigham and martin perez or maybe that's martin perez martin. yeah at uh hagerstown or hagerstown 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 i like hagerstown i don't know how you're technically supposed to say it I have no clue either. We had a, do we have a home run or two or three on a Thursday night? Because I don't think. Yeah, did, we had a couple. Yeah, we did. Dangers. We should write the stuff dang, down. We need well, to. We, I mean, <laughs> we go to the game, start taking notes. 
But yeah, we need to take notes of how bad the umpires suck. Oh, they were bad. You oh, you have no, no idea. So, yeah. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday were, they were pretty good. They made some weird ball and strike calls on Thursday. And well, they, they got progressively yeah. worse. There was that one guy that called it and dropped it, but they still said he called it, and they said it was on the transfer. So I wasn't there Saturday. I'll, I'm not going to be there tomorrow. I'll be there Tuesday, though. I'll be at the game on Tuesday. If we do, we have a game on Tuesday. Yep. Okay, I'll be there on Tuesday. I believe we have a game Wednesday, but it's a day game, isn't that it's correct? Day. I'll be there, and yeah, I got. I'll the, go over that later. It's ten thirty. The game's at ten thirty. I got class at twelve, so I'll be. I'll I'll, I'll see like four innings. So yeah, but uh, so what happened with these umpires? They sucked. Yeah, they sucked. Well, I mean, Thursday they were good. The home plate umpire, he made it. You know, he was a decent. He had a decent strike zone. The field umpire, he. Like I said, or Ethan said, that he uh, missed a call on a transfer, so yeah. he was out. He said they were they got worse, so show your work. Um, Give me an example. Thursday, you know, they swept. Thursday Friday, was, they swapped, yeah. you know, and his strike zone, he, he, I don't think he knew what it was. I mean, whenever, it's, it's like this all the time when we bat. The strike zone could be five foot over the guy's head and roll the ball in the dirt and they still call it a strike against us so yeah. and last night they <clears throat> absolutely cost us the game how they do that jennifer they, jennifer or lucas come in here and tell tell everybody how the umpire in the field cost us the game lucas isn't in there i sent him away oh, okay. oh never mind then no 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 we're good <laughs> lucas 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 we need you for a second <laughs> Lucas. He's coming. He's on his way. He's, I thought he was in there playing Fortnite, but that's Cooper. I sent him away because he's right. talking. Lucas. We've, we've decided to let you be a guest today. No, for a minute. We're going to talk about last a night. I want to ask him the question. <laughs> how how did the umpire in the field last night screw us out of our win? Right, get in here so, you, so everybody can hear you. Well, basically, he doesn't know where a check swing is. If it even... Touches the plate like it goes over the plate. That what is goes over the plate? The bat. No. That is not a check swing. That is counted as a full swing and it's a strike. He called three check. He called three full swing check swings. And if he would have called, if he would have called them a check swing, they would have been out. Yeah, I would have been lashed out, and we would have won instead of them winning by four points. Runs, runs. Full runs or whatever. <laughs> so that's it, so deuces. All right, thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. But I have to say, you know, with, I don't know, with low A, yes, it's a team, yes, you want to win, but this is my feelings. We're, they're here to get these guys the training that they need to make. And part of that training is dealing with terrible umpires. That's it. <laughs> we talked to our guy Josh last night after the game, and I could just tell he was Cause he pitched. not happy. They, Because he shouldn't have had to a pitch if they would have called them a strike. Instead of, you know, not who I first thought of so, when you said Josh. But, yeah. but Josh Altman did pitch last night for the Ducks. How about Josh that? Altman? Yeah. <laughs> but he's not a pitcher. <laughs> He's not. They were getting beat, what, 16 to 6 or something like that? So they said, all right, Josh, go to the mound. Why not? But he got rocked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they, took, him, they well, took him yard. I mean, uh, Chuck Mormon struck out a guy uh, two years ago, and he's not a catcher, a pitcher. He's a catcher. Yeah. He but yeah, strike zone yeah, yeah Josh wasn't good. happy last night after the game, but, you know, it's... it's, it's Josh Advocate, not Allman. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, Josh Advocate. <laughs> But yeah, they, they're here to work on on their mechanics Crusty. and their stuff. We like I said, we want the wins and we want the championships, but we want these guys to. Okay, two, three questions. What? Do you know why Josh is called Krusty? No. Did you tell? Does Josh know that we have a show? I just told him because I just messaged him. Is Josh going to come on the show? I haven't asked yet. Okay. All right. So. Tune in next week where we might have Josh, advocate. Not Josh. No, we won't. Because he will be in Columbia, oh, where oh, we yeah, will yeah. not be because Alan decided I, to work. I, no, I thought I we were home. I thought we were home. Well, next Sunday home game, or next Sunday off day, we'll see. We might have Josh. We're going to try to get some interviews with some of the players. We're also trying to get Curveball Chris, the host, here 
Uh, not not the host, not this host, not me. Uh, the host of the in between innings. He's referring to him as the host of the Crawdad thing. Yes. I don't know why he's chosen to use that term, but that's what he chose. Well, the ho- like people the, go to and watch the, the video. And look, at the, the look that I'm giving this <laughs> dipstick over here, the host. No, like that's what oh. they, that's what it, that's what it says on Facebook. It says it, it, it it's. It says director of something. It doesn't say the host. Host, like, in between innings, he goes out there and does stuff. What do you call that? The, you call that a host of the in-between innings stuff. The host of the games. You guys know what I'm saying. Every minor league team has a guy that goes out in between innings and, and does, you know, knocker ball and dress like a sandwich and jump on this guy and races and stuff. We all know every... T- then what do you call Spaz in Greensboro? He's he's the, the host of the in between. He's the director innings. of fun. That's what Bill Murray is in uh. Columbia. No. Charleston. Charleston. Yeah. Bill Murray. Yeah. The Ghostbuster. Bill that Murray. Bill Murray. The, Bill. the Bill Murray. The, the Bill Murray. I mean, like he's not there all the time. He's not. <laughs> Still, he's the that director. version. Whatever. Of... Chris is the, 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 the director. The director. Yeah, the Chris, the host of Section One Hundred Eight. Listen, we can get into semantics here about what's a host and what's a jacket and what's a sweater. So last night's game was really good. It could have been better. We could have won. The score ended up 11 to 15. But the the silver lining to the umpire's second is that now we have a new opposing team favorite player. Ooh, who's that? Take it away, Alan. It's a catcher. Imagine that. Oh, all, of, man. all the positions. Shouts out to Chase Fallow. Yes. His name is Dion Stafford. Yeah. Dion Stafford. Kind of looks like Sam Shady with that bleach blonde hair. <laughs> Hope you see this. Nah, but he was super cool. Um, we gave him a hard time about his throwdowns and stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Slim Shady with the. We got a white guy named Dion? <laughs> You said look like Slim you Shady. Can't you can't ask if somebody's white. Like you said he looked like Slim Shady. Because he's got yeah, bleach blonde, blonde hair. hair. You mean it's... Oh, God. I'm just saying. It, whatever. Dion is not a name that you imagine for a white guy. So when you said he had that kind of hair and looked like Slim Shady, I was imagining a white guy named Dion. What? We got a black guy named Chad Smith. Listen, it's not racist to say that certain names are more towards certain groups of people, okay? Oh. Wait, this is the same thing that the emails last year or two years ago with that one umpire but whatever but no it, one's watching this anyway yeah that's very true but we do have lessons somehow i don't understand but uh anyway if was, you're mad if you're mad that is that is uh ethan e-t-h-n dot b-n-f-i-l-d benfield <laughs> at my lr dot edu that's the main email Tell me how mad you are about about me. God, I hope you get crap loaded. Okay, email email me there. (laughs) Or my backup email, ethan.benfield2017 at gmail.com. Either of those two will work. Or you can email the crawdads. I don't really care. But yeah, I'd like to hear all your thoughts about how terrible I am. So please, please email me. If I show you a picture, are you not going to see? That's what I (laughs) You don't have to comment on it. All right. But yeah, he was super cool. Um, so he's, not a, he's another Fisher. person. No, he's not Jameson Fisher. It's the one year anniversary of Jameson Fisher signing the Pringles can, which now doesn't really hold up because he doesn't have the mustache anymore. Yeah. Were you done talking about Dion before Ethan cut in there? No, I guess I'm done. I am sorry. But yeah, like I said, I wished him all the best last night. He, he, he thought we were funny. He got some chuckles out of us. Yeah, but you know, if it wasn't for his hit, they, we would have... Did he block us? No. Because we got into it on Twitter with Chase Below, who blocked us. Not yet. And he unblocked us. Chase is a cool guy. He's not listening. He should, though. Did he listen to the first one? He said he did. On Twitter. On the old Twitter machine. I mean, he unblocked Twitter you, machine. so... He did unblock me. So that's good. I'm so mad that it's raining still. I want to. I want to go to a game today. It's my day off of work, and I can't go to the game. You're not getting a game today. You could have went know. down to Kinston. I'll be there Tuesday. Watch them get beat like, you know. Do we have any promotions on Tuesday? Tuesday. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess. Do you want to go through all the promotions? Yeah. Get a, uh, get a time. Uh, a little bit. But, um, oh, he's no. not ready. Oh, he's yet. not ready. All right. No, not 
wasn't ready. Okay. Just, just like uh, the Mudcats wasn't ready for Joel Booker the other night. Oh, oh there you okay. go. Okay. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about that. Um, it was, I don't know if they were in extra innings or if it was the bottom of the ninth, but Joel Booker was on third. I can't remember who was at bat, but Joel Booker booked it home <laughs> and booked stole it. home, Booker walked T. off, game over. It made ESPN. Ooh, yeah. I didn't see that. Didn't somebody steal home last night on us? No. Then what did they do? What didn't they do? <laughs> it was probably that damn Dion guy. Nah. <laughs> nah, we didn't get nobody to steal home. Well, what did they do last night? I don't know. I, don't know. I wasn't there. When the ball came over the plate and rolled away and somebody came across Well, that was a home. wild pitch. Probably. That's a, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this is. What's the difference? Doesn't count. There's it. plenty of people listening that don't know the difference. So. Well, steal doesn't count if it's on a well pitch. That's the difference. So it's how like do a, you steal home? Just like a hit doesn't count if it's on an okay. error. How do you steal home? You run really fast before the pitcher throws it. You can just do that. And the catcher. Yeah, just the like ball. you the steal. The catcher has to have the ball in his possession. Yeah, just like you could steal it. Just like you steal second or third. It's the same yeah, thing. Just the way, just just the way EJ stole second and third the other night. Last night, wasn't it? Was last night when we had all the stolen no, bases, or was that the night the before? The night before, because I was talking to Tanner. He tried to pick EJ off like 11 times on Thursday. Yeah, well, it didn't, didn't happen. happen. Oh, there I go again. Not Every time I need to exaggerate it. You're with 11. Oh, can't do it. Won't, won't, won't do it. Down East is getting beat 5 to 2 by now, right now. Yeah. So, so now, you want to get to the end? And then one, one, one last thing, Austin Riley had two home runs in one game the other day, had five RBIs. And last week I did not uh, give my, my yearly prediction for Joey. Last year I said he'd get 40 home runs, he got 41. <clears throat> this year I'm 36. Gonna, I'm saying 32. But he hit a home run last night, if you didn't know. And he's at five. So. How many Darren Judge got? Who cares? How many strikeouts has he got, like 70? <laughs> that uh, don't care. Aaron Judge. Cool guy. Just don't like him. Emerson is better than Aaron Judge at knowing the strike zone. And he's not even a real person. He's not even a person. Exactly. He's, he's not a even, llama. And not even a real llama at that. And he knows the strike zone better than Aaron Judge. <laughs> Promotions. Okay. The 16th, which is tomorrow, right? Two. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Is it the game's at six? It's a make a difference Monday. Go check the Crawdads Facebook page. It'll tell you what to bring. It's got to be over a five dollar value. You get a free ticket. And it's also a tribute. But the ticket's nine dollars, so you're saving what? Three dollars? Five and nine. Four, but there you go. it's got to be at <laughs> least five dollars. So if you bring, I was thinking if you bring something that's six dollars, you're only saving. So you didn't say that until just now. But it's How also, are you going to find something that's exactly $5? But you can, there's something, there, there's a way to get in for totally for free. All you got to do is go into the oh. dresser because it's tribute to, to pajamas. pajamas. Wear your PJs to the game and get in free tomorrow. Unless so, you sleep naked. But those of you, that, those of you that sleep naked, use that to your advantage. Mm -hmm. Show up to the game, tell them, these are my pajamas, and you get to, you get to be a nudist in public, and it's a total loophole. You can do it. But I'll be there Tuesday night. Okay. Tuesday, the seventeenth, six o'clock. Thirsty Tuesday. I we're wish. start. We're, we got the new one now. We're we're gonna do the paperwork for that one. We're gonna start it. It's dollar dog, dollar dog night. One dollar hot dogs, two dollar Pepsi products, and you can bring your dog to the game. And Mark, play. if you're listening, let's try to get a new vendor in here that has brats because brats are awesome. Speaking of Dion, he just retweeted my tweet from last night. Hey. So there we go. All right, live updates. So speaking of live updates, I've had to leave this podcast three times to excuse the children from the neighboring room. But you can get a dollar ticket tomorrow with your dog if you want to actually bring. bring Tuesday, them. you mean? Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. If you want to bring Rover. Why is it gonna be Rover? Okay, it's gonna be Cable. <laughs> Why can't it be Spot? Oh, okay, all right. Or Spot. We, several dogs. Let's. Why can't I have a girl name? I know, Alan. Chrissy. You misogynist dog. A girl Chrissy. name? Name Ethan. Oh. Uh -huh. Aww. Anyway, the 18th Wednesday, there's no promotion. It's a school a school day event, field trip type uh, thing. I'll be there. 10.30. I'll be there for part of it. So. 
Live updates, Round Rock's also getting beat. Oh, Texas, what a great system this year. Wow. The 19th, we travel down to Columbia, South Kakalaki. South Cack! Game's at 7.05 and it's a thirsty Thursday. The 20th, 7.05, fireworks and your first chance to see the Zooperstars. Ooh, the Zooper, is that a Friday? That is a Friday. Crap, I want to... Sure? Where wanna... is that? Is that here? In Columbia. Oh, okay. In Columbia. Say, in Columbia. I was about to say, I well, want to see the Well, that's weird that they have that on a Friday. That feels like a Saturday activity. Yeah, it does. Uh, but Zooperstars and fireworks on the same night? Whew, that's, that's packed. Crazy. That's going to be packed. And then Saturday, the 21st, games at 6.05, and it's halfway to Halloween. Already? Well, that's cool. Wait, what do you Why mean is that half? cool? Why do you think that's cool? I like Halloween. But it's halfway. Because Halloween is... But it's halfway in Columbia. Is there some kind of significance here that you're getting? Where Where is the stadium built? Is it like halfway somewhere? No, it's built in a, a, a saint asylum where they oh. used to have it in soccer on the halfway house. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty it cool. is? That yeah. is. The, nice. the, the, right. the stadium is built on the land where they used to have an assailant side. But how's it halfway to Halloween? Is it exactly six months to Halloween that night? That doesn't seem right. I don't know. It's the 21st. Halloween's on the 21st. April? April. It's what, the, April. May, the June, July, August, September, October. Oh, look at that. Halfway there. That's six. Yep. Yeah, but Halloween's on the 31st. So? This is on the 21st. But Close enough. Numbers. Close enough. Or hard. There's 365 days in here. I don't, I'm sure. Anyway, Sunday. <laughs> 205 start time is splash day. They'll have some little I, I don't what's up with ballparks wanting to, you know. I, I don't know. Weren't we supposed out? to get wet today? Yeah, well you are definitely <laughs> look out I was window. wondering. <laughs> so and then uh you got autograph signing up on the concourse from twelve thirty to one. So that's your upcoming crawdad schedule and promotions if you want to travel with the team. I wish we could, but hey, somebody hooked me up at work and switched shifts with me so we could, excuse me, go to Durham. And he met, he asked me if I would work for him Sunday, so I have to work Sunday. Boo. You got anything else? That's all I have in I, mind. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Jennifer Day, would you like to take it away? Well, there is something exciting that's new at the Crawdads this year. Okay. I don't know if it's for every game, but it was <clears throat> on Thursday, and I saw that they were back last night as well. They have some organic cotton candy that they're doing out there, and it had some flavors like peach and pink lemonade, birthday cake, and I French tried it. toast. I tried it. I did not like it. It was all right. Whatever flavor you had was Pink not... lemonade is what we had. And they also got these cool souvenir cups. Check out the that video. That is true. Got Tanner on it. <laughs> Hold it up a little bit closer on my from my phone. There. There we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That. Oh yeah, the cotton okay. candy. All right. Well, uh, I did. Did you get more food you want to talk about? Me? Yeah. Did you have some other food you want to talk I didn't about? Have any food you want to talk about? I mean the. I just ate it all the garden. Was those it was delicious. Deep. That is messed up. I don't know why you wouldn't tell us because we would have went and then got a picture of that delicious apple, green apple sangria. I was there with my mom and I don't really know if she wants to hang out with y'all. I don't know who wouldn't want to hang out with us. The only other exciting food that I experienced this week was those deep fried pickles. Yeah, right. At Durham. Is yep. there something else? You had deep fried pickles at Durham? Not pickles! Pretzels! Listen. You put some crown in this drink, and maybe I shouldn't drink. I don't know if you want to talk about Asheville's podcast. New foods. Well, hey, I could, but I can't guarantee I remember. Deep fried cookie dough. They're going to have deep yes. fried cookie dough, churros, churro sundaes, because they're going to have a new concession that's called, what was it called? Carnival food or something like Yeah, something, something like that. that. But they will still have the deep fried Oreos and the moon funnel pies. cakes, deep fried moon pies, all of that. And something that didn't have like cheese curds. Yep. Yeah. Something. We can have a trip. whole episode about ballpark foods. We have got to plan a trip to Asheville because we need to try this stuff. But I don't understand why we don't have anything. We need to have we a have whole nothing. episode. We have to do a whole episode just the best and worst of ballpark foods. That'll probably be at the end of the year. That way we can 
travel. Past some reviews of some stuff we've seen. Right now, I'm going to put Durham at first place. Oh, yeah, with Durham. Those pretzels. With the pretzels and with the brats. Now, when I go back to Durham later in the year, I'm going to try the Italian sausage because it's probably better than the brats because it's spicy. We're talking about foods. we got to talk about the Greenville, uh, Greensboro food. we got those big ass nachos. And yes, I said. Haha, yeah, yeah. uh -huh. Alan, you're the one that said that we will go close to Durham. I didn't mm -hmm. look it up. It's in, it's, in the, it's in the book. I can say it. What's in the book? The book. What book? The Bible. Asses? Mm -hmm. Y'all being really. See, you just said it. <laughs> the Bible's on a book. The Bible's 66 books. Same difference. It's one big giant. Oh my god. We're not getting into this. Back to baseball <laughs> and food. Actually, I think that's all. Okay. That's it. Well, I do want to say one thing. Um, we don't want to get in talking about religion and politics in here, but. Yeah, we're not into that. With the stuff that's going on in the country, remember our service, people. Shout out to, uh, you got somebody? My brother. Yeah, shout out to Alan's brother. He's out there taking care of stuff. Uh, I've not heard from my cousin. He's in the Marines. He's not told me anything. Uh, I should probably, uh, I'll text him after we're done with the show here, see what's going on there. And uh, so, you know, we've all got somebody that's, we all know somebody that's in the service, uh, whether it's a family member or a friend or something. I know Alan's brother or my cousin. And uh, so, yeah, everybody be thinking about you know all our troops and everybody so uh shout out to them shout out to everybody that was at the tailgate yesterday i will attach the video of lee at the end of the video version of this one uh that's episode 10 of the dirty balls podcast thank you for listening please come back next week deuces all right all right lee let's uh let's inspect the chair here so this happened I always thought it'd be Alan or maybe Jeremy that this would happen to first, but n but nope. He's that video rolling so we can watch him get up. All right, let's see him get out of here. All right, so here's the damage. Oh, there's a fire grenade! All right, Lee. So uh, tell us what just tell us about your experience. I just went down. <laughs> oh come on man you watch wwe let's make a promo out of this what happened lee <laughs> tell me what happened lee he gave that chair he gave that chair a body slam with his butt so yep yeah, there's the chair there's lee let's zoom in on this embarrassed face here and he's still eating the pizza what a champion those are, that's what happens at the tailgates, y'all. Alright, so Lee, you got a backup chair now. Let's, uh, let's watch you sit down in it. Let's see how this goes. You want to get your legs in this one? I'm going to get my legs in this one. Alright. Here, move over. Slide. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Alright, we're doing a little bit of uh, musical chairs here. So <laughs> everybody's got the same. Alright, wait, wait, wait. All right, here comes a moment of truth. We're going to see if Lee can sit down in this new chair successfully. All right, wait, 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 wait. And, I want it and go. <laughs> All right, how about a hand for Lee? He got in the, yeah. Woo, he did it.